I'm Callie, and for today's practice tip, I want to give you a few tips on how to get better at sight reading. Okay, so now that we've talked about big picture, regularly practiced things to help improve sight reading, what do we do when we're in the heat of the moment and it's time to actually sight read? First, check your time signature. Figure out how many beats are in a measure, what note gets the beat, and you're good to go. Next, check tempo. This is where musical terms are going to come in handy. Not every piece has a tempo marking written into the piece, so the better you know musical terms, the better you'll be able to figure out what the tempo is. Next, check your key signature, and don't just figure out what major key it's in, if it's in a minor key, you'll want to know that too, because that's going to throw in a few accidentals here and there for bleeding tones. So figure out your key signature and figure out whether you're in major or minor mode. Next, determine the style and the expressive goal of whatever it is you're sight reading. Furioso means one thing and cantabile means something very, very different. So if you want to be really good at sight reading, it's good to be able to try and get the character of the piece as quickly as possible. Last, just play and keep going. Try to keep a steady pulse, do the best you can with rhythmic accuracy and with notes, but if you mess up, just get right back on and keep going. I really hope these tips help you guys out in your sight reading. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, happy practicing!